Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginners. Siavash is here and today I want to talk about another method of inter-VLAN routing by using the multi-layer or layer tree switches. In previous video, you've learned how to provide the router on a stick and provide the communication for your VLAN's machine. But in a router on a stick method, we have got some limitation and disadvantages. The first limitation and disadvantage is this strong link between the switch and your router on a stick. Actually, this link has got the limited bandwidth. If your traffic in a big network environment is increased, this communication can be very slow and reduce your performance in your network. So let's learn the new methods for inter-VLAN routing. So first of all, I delete these links. These are friends. We are known it this router as well. And bye bye the layer three C layer two switch. Sorry. Go to the switch and this time we select the three five sixty switch which is the multi-layer switch. Let's configure this switch very fast and it's a good recap for you as well to remember how we set up the VLANs. Wait, this switch is coming up. Go to the enable, config mode and VLAN 50 or server VLAN segment here. Name server or caps using easier for you. Then the VLAN 100 name for IT and the VLAN 200 or sales department VLAN and name sales. Voila, take a look at this. See here, we got the, all the different VLANs back here and let's assign the ports. I do like this interface range FA05 to 10. For our server segment, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 50 for our server VLAN, interface range, okay, let's see, it is easier for me, I'm using the tab for autocomplete, interface range, FA011 to 15 for sales, switch port mode access, and uh, switch port access VLAN 200 and finally interface range FA 016 to 20 will assign for our IT department switch port mode access and the switch port access VLAN 100 Okay, let's double check by using the show VLAN command and you will see we got our the server VLAN, all the sign port, IT VLAN 100 and the sales VLAN 200 and all the assigned port here. Okay, so it's very easy. Let's connect these machines to our switch. Use the copper tray first of all our servers. Go to the port number 5, PC of our sales department. Let's pull some cables. Okay, let's say 11 and 12 for here. And finally, our IT management laptop connected to the VLAN 16. There is an easy way for checking your VLAN setting and port setting on a Cisco Packet Tracer. Just hover your mouse above your switch, and you will see that. What's your configuration? Let's back the PC0, double check the configuration, command prompt, IP config. As you can see, the IP address is set properly and our gateway. Let's ping our gateway. Ping 192.168.200.250. What do you think? Do you think we get the ping? For sure not. Because we remove our, the router on a stick device. And we don't have that communication for our gateway. How we can provide the intervillain routing with the multi-layer switch? It's very easy. 
we got the new concept as a SVI or switch virtual interfaces. We need to create the SVI for each VLAN. It's very easy. Let's start with the server segment VLAN, VLAN 50. The command is like this interface VLAN, and you can see if you use the question mark, you can choose the VLAN interface number. It should be matched with your VLAN number, VLAN 50, and just TR. Okay, as you can see here, our line protocol on interface VLAN 50 changes that to R. It's back and press enter. Set the IP address, which is the default gateway for a specific VLAN. In this case, VLAN 50, IP address 192.168.0.50, 255, 255, 255. Exact the same IP addresses we set on the sub interfaces on the router on a stick. Press enter, exit, interface VLAN 100. Okay, IP address and 192.168.100. Double check the IP address range, you can see here. And the 250 as a gateway, 255.255.255.0. And finally, interface VLAN 200, which is up now after you create it. 192.168.200 and 2.50 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and finally for double check you can use the show IP interface free all old good commands and yeah you can see this multi-layer switch have got three different interface virtual interface for VLAN 50 VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 and the IP addresses are set, the status is up and up. Now let's go back to our PC0 and make sure we can ping our gateway. This time we can successfully ping our gateway and now let's ping our server segment. Ping 192.168.0.1 and after your packet is traveled through these cables goes to the this switch, multi-layer switch, in the back plane with the wire speed and very fast this switch should be point your packets to the server zero. But as you can see, we don't get the reply from server yet. You know why? It's easy because we don't enable the inter VLAN routing on the multi-layer switch. After you create all these Virtual interfaces, you should force your switcher to enable the inter VLAN routing with one command, which is IP routing. As you can see, this is a more simpler than the configuration of the router on a stick and is more faster and more efficient way to provide the inter VLAN routing. I press enter again, do the ping, and this time waiting for reply from our server. Usually it takes time for our first thing. And now the multi-layer switch should be take that configuration. Still don't receive any reply back. Okay, something is wrong. Let's see where is the problem. IP routing is enabled. Okay, VLANs are ready, all up. Okay, good. And let me double check. Uh oh, I saw something wrong. Yeah, it's here. It's a 50. It should be IP address of the gateway of the VLAN 50 is wrong. Let's make it correct. Interface VLAN 50 and IP address this time 192.168.0.250, the correct one. Yeah, sometimes in real world configuration also you got this kind of typo and is your ability to find where is the problem and do the configuration. So show IP interface brief and double check. Yeah, this time is better, it's fixed. Previously was wrong IP address and these are all default gateway. Now final test and see do we have received the reply this time? Oh yeah, finally, we can ping our server. 
and let's do the same testing from our IT department. This beauty laptop here. And the first thing, 192.168.0.1. And we can have access from our IT department to our server department as well as our sales department. You see? We can ping our sales department also from the IT and vice versa. So, in this video, you learn how to provide the inter VLAN routing by using the multi layer switch. There is two steps. Step one, create your SVI, your switch virtual interfaces, and then using the IP routing command. These two is your solution for providing the inter VLAN by using the multi-layer or layer 3 switch but don't forget this method is more easier more practical more faster but the multi-layer switch or layer 3 switch are more expensive than the layer 2 switch and usually in your environment you may have the old router you can use as a router on a stick but if you planning for the new network design is better and if you don't have any limitation on your budget Let's go on with the layer 3 and multi layer switch and provide the inter VLAN routing. Uh, it's easier if you start the inter VLAN routing in a multi layer switch. Still, uh, I mentioned that you have access from all the machine among your VLANs and you don't have to provide any control on that. In the next videos, you will see how we can provide such a control within your VLAN domain. Thank you very much. Uh, please leave your feedback and comments and your required videos and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube as well as our Facebook channel. Thank you and bye for now.